does it matter to you that you are wearing a Philippine sash or an Australian sash for a competition abroad? That's my first question. Does it matter for you? Or, uh, do you feel different if you'll be wearing an Australian sash going to the competition? Or Because there's, just, there's part two to this question. So that's the first question first. Does it matter to you a lot that you'll be wearing a Philippine sash? For me, it would be a big difference though to wear um, a Australian sash and a Philippine sash. But if I had to choose which one of the sash I would wear, it's the Philippine Because this is where I was born. And proud to be a Filipino, came from a third world country. And to represent and to win that song, I think that would be the difficult for me. And to represent our culture, at the end of the day, we are a united family, loving, and um, yeah, so be happy. I, I'm, I'm happy to represent. Okay, so this is the part two of the question. Since you choose to wear the Philippine sash abroad, you know for a fact that the Philippines is already a pageant powerhouse around the world. And the minute you set foot on the host city wearing the Philippine sash, there will be a target on your back because you are his this is Philippines. And the other girls will definitely uh, be more conscious about your presence. And that will pressure you more because they will expect a lot in terms of their performance. They will expect you to always stand out. They expect you to always be at the top of your game. Yeah. Does it add extra pressure on you? I don't think it would uh, add extra pressure on me because I'm there not just to compete, but to really be by myself and represent the country and show who I am, no matter what, really. Everybody has to go there and compete. It doesn't matter which country you represent from. But yeah, I, I suppose that you just go there and, and be yourself and do the best that you can. And hopefully, as what you said, it adds a pressure because the Philippines is a powerhouse. But at the end of the day, it's really, it's the organization that will make the judgment if you think about it. So be yourself, just represent who you are, and just do the best. But knowing that us pageant media would expect the Philippines to always win, always win. is yeah. that a pressure on you? Because there's a different <laughs> level already. Because we always want the Philippines to win. It's like we're the spoiled brats in the pageant <laughs> world now. I know. There's, you know what? There's always going to be a cat fight at the end of the day. There's always going to be a heat up. But at the end of the day, you just have to do the right thing out there. And hopefully that this organization will see you with who deserves. If you deserve that, it doesn't matter which country, I know. Just 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 be who you are. Don't be pressurized with anything. Just be who you are. If instead of being a candidate for this competition, let's say you are the owner of the competition, yeah. let's turn the tables and you are the one who will select the most deserving winner. What will you actually be looking for in the most deserving winner? I like that question. For me, if I'm the owner, I would always look for someone who's capable. I've always believed in something to do with substance, not just join a pageant. Have substance about it. What is the pageant is all about? I think for me to choose the person is you have to be passionate, you have to be capable. Are you able? Uh, are you a smart person? Are you? Do you deserve to be an image of this pageant? So that's what I'm looking for: is capability. So you just describe yourself. I hope so. <laughs> so you will win the title. Uh, I'm hoping. Good luck. Thank you so much for that.